In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, I bear witness there is no God but God, and God is the only one who has a right to be worshipped. I also bear witness that Prophet Moses, Prophet Jesus, and Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, are the messengers of God, and I seek refuge in Allah from the rejected Satan. So I've got an excellent video for you all today. We're going to be discussing about an important topic of the timeline of the appearance of Imam Mehdi Mashiach in, the, in Mecca, the uh, appearance of the Dajjal, the deceiver, the antichrist, and the coming of Jesus, the Messiah, the Mashiach, son of Mary, uh, peace and blessings be upon him. So we're going to we're going to talk about the these these three uh, major characters and their timeline. Um, this is going to be a very simple video. This is accumulation of hundreds of hours of me listening to uh, different scholars and my research into hadiths. I'm not a hadith specialist, so I'm referring this to a lot of uh, word of mouth knowledge that I've received through scholars that I've listened to, etc. Cross referencing data and uh, using the authentic hadiths to give us uh, a broader understanding of the timelines and what where we are in the uh, timeline before him, the coming of Imam Mashiach the Dajjal and Jesus, peace, peace and blessings be upon him. So first, uh, there's a famous hadith of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. He said that there was only one day left uh, before the day of judgment. God would stretch that day, Allah would stretch that day out until uh, in that Mehdi Mashiach, his servant, would come. Um, so that really illustrates the importance of Imam Mehdi Mashiach, um, of his coming, that he's very important. Um, also, that he is also important to the day of judgment, that God would stretch out time uh, before the Day of Judgment, so would give the chance for Imam Mehdi and Mashiach to come. Now, why would God stretch out that day? Well, the way I see it is that Imam Mehdi will be instrumental in bringing people closer to God, will bring help bring the presence of God deeper into this world, uh, bring peace, bring people, turn people back to God uh, in such a way that uh, will fill this whole world with justice, will fill this whole world with. Uh, prosperity, uh, abundance, peace, tranquility, harmony, and balance, when previously the world was filled with injustice, corruption, oppression, etc. Um, so it will give people more opportunities to enter into paradise than uh, and less people to enter into the hellfire before the Day of Judgment. So I see that's where the big importance uh, is. So, uh, things that will, uh, well, also Prophet Muhammad mentioned, peace and blessings be upon him, mentioned that there will be four periods before the time of Imam Mehdi the Mashiach. The first period would be the prophetic period, where we had the about 33 years of rightly guided leaders in Islam, which was the first 33 years. Then a, a lengthy period of kingship, and another uh, lengthy period of tyr uh, another tyranny period. And the final and the fourth one, which was basically, I'm basically paraphrasing these ones, um, is the uh, time of ignorance. Where Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, peace be upon him said it in a hadith that uh, in the end times, um, or before the end times, the uh, in this fourth period, uh, the period of ignorance, that the, the believers, the Muslims, will be vast in number, will have a great number. But there will be like the froth to see that white foam that builds on the, on the sea, which which will have no substance, will have no uh, integrity, no righteousness, no uh, deep conviction for God. Uh, but we'll just blow around with the wind, um, and will be like useless, like that froth of the sea. So uh, a lot of scholars believe that we're in this last fourth stage, um, and soon to follow uh, this stage will end. This stage will be. The stage of this great war that will happen. So there will be a great war that will happen for the coming of Imam Mehdi the Mashiach. This could be considered World War III. Um, there will be a great multitudes of deaths on this earth. Could be done from nuclear warheads, etc. We don't know for sure. Um, but there will be a great war. There will also be the coming of the Sufiani, uh, which will be like uh, ISIS on steroids. He'll um, be a leader, will be an actual human being, but will be very murderous, be very, you know, uh, ruthless, uh, murderous uh, leader, uh, which will actually start gaining ground uh, 
uh, in the Middle East, probably transforming some of the geography of the maps and stuff like that. Um, and including with that World War III will probably change the geographic, uh, not geographic, but the, uh, the maps of the, uh, of the Middle East. So we'll have a great war. We'll have the Sufiani, which will be like ISIS on steroids. Um, and then also in that time, uh, there will be um, turmoil in the in Saudi Arabia. They will not know who the leader is. There'll be three. There'll be the leader who, who will die, and then three princes or three other leaders will try to uh, attain that leadership position. But none of them, all three of them, will fail. So, so, and then after that will come in the Medi, the Mashiach, when uh, you will not know who the leader. is is in, in Saudi Arabia, there'll be a three uh, princes, let's say, they'll be vying for leadership, but none will attain it. Um, there'll be the Sufiani who will come before Imam Mehdi the Mashiach for approximately, uh, I believe, about a year or so, uh, creating all sorts of turmoil in the, uh, in the Middle East. And obviously, a big, huge war um, will be a precursor. So at that point, uh, when there's turmoil in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia, there's no leadership. Um, the believers will realize that this is the time uh, for the uh, allegiance of Imam Mehdi Mashiach. Believers will recognize who Imam Mehdi Mashiach is, will give him bayah uh, at the Kaaba in Mecca, and uh, the news will spread like wildfire. Uh, this will enrage the Sufiani. Uh, and I'm sure other disbelievers in the world, and an army will be sent from the east. They will be sent to attack Imam Mehdi and his followers at the at Mecca. And this army uh, will be swallowed up by the earth, and this will be a major sign for all the believers around the world. And this will be the clear cut tail sign who Imam Mehdi the Mashiach really is. So the one who received Bayah after those three. Uh, Major things will occur, as I mentioned before. Uh, once that army comes and you'll be swallowed up uh, by the earth, uh, that'll be, like I said, the clear tail sign who Imam Mehdi the Mashiach is. Uh, this will help uh, solidify and unite the believers because uh, people in general, they just want to follow strong leadership. They want to follow who's who's the right, who's going to give them, give them the best life for them, uh, etc., who, who are strong leaders. So obviously this is going to illustrate the strength of the leadership of Imam Mehdi Mashiach, that he, he can actually thwart off a whole entire armies. So people will be very protected. People will know God is with this man. Uh, it'll help increase their faith, uh, Amen, uh, etc., by, the, by this event. So at that point, Imam Mehdi Mashiach will start gaining ground, will start gaining territory, will start expanding the borders uh, uh, of the rightly guided state. Um, um, prosperity will start flourishing, abundance, uh, tranquility, uh, peace and justice will start being implemented by Imam and Mashiach and will start spreading across the globe. So Imam will have lots of victories, a lot of success. Um, Gaining a lot of new territory, uh, establishing the uh, the obedience of God, judging the Christians according to the evangel, the Gospels of Jesus, uh, judging the Jews according to the Torah, and judging the Muslims according to the Quran. So after this, uh, there were three things that will really anger and upset the Dajjal, who is the Antichrist, who um, will claim to be first a prophet, will be claiming to be Jesus, and will also eventually claim to be God himself, will be the great deceiver. Uh, there's a famous hadith uh, from Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, that said, uh, till... Uh, from the day of uh, from the day of Adam till the day of judgment, there will be no greater test on this on this earth than of the Dajjal, the deceiver, the Antichrist. So he will be the greatest test. He will have uh, God will give him a certain abilities and certain spiritual and material powers uh, that people will think that he has God. He is God because of these these uh, powers that they haven't seen before, and will def defeat uh, deceive the masses into following him. So. Uh, there will be three things that really upset the Dajjal. 
the first being will be the fr the freeing of the Palestinians. This will really aggravate the Dajjal. The second will be the conquest. The Imam and Mishak will, will conquer uh, Constantinople. And the third thing that will really anger the Dajjal will be the conquest of the Vatican of Rome. Um, and Imam and Mishak will receive, uh, will find a, uh, authentic, original Torah, Gospels of Jesus and other authentic scriptures that I'm sure he will, um, um, you know, send that send all that information across the world, probably via the internet or other forms uh, in that time. Um, it seems like in that time there'll be a, a decrease in population, probably from the world wars. Uh, uh, technology will probably be, it seems like it'll be a little bit less. So uh, they'll probably. Economies we know from our economies. There's no way that it's going to last forever. It's going to have to collapse at some point um, And wars are, are usually a good way to propagate your empire which will probably backfire and It will increase the collapse of the economies and stuff like that So we're probably but more back to earth more back to natural ways of living in that time um, Like I said those three major events uh, the freeing of the Palestinians conquest of Constantinople and the conquest of Rome, the Vatican, and disseminating all those scriptures, authentic scriptures out to the masses, will completely aggravate and anger the Dajjal, and he will he will uh, appear at that point. Um, he will start uh, traveling from place to place, all the major cities, he'll be traveling, um, he will give people he'll have like a mountain of gold so he'll have uh, a lot of a ruling elite behind him he'll have a lot of money he'll have a lot of backing from the disbeliever side um you will he will have the shaitans helping him behind the scenes and the unseen to make him look like he's doing miracles um he may have abilities to cause it to rain in some areas and not in others um this could be through technology, this could be through spiritual means, I'm not sure, exactly sure. Um, so he will travel the world in all the major cities and people will follow him, particularly women, most, mostly women will follow him. Um, and then he will start gaining ground against Imam Mehdi. He will, Imam Mehdi will start uh, be more on the defense, uh, maybe start losing some ground. Um, and the Dajjal will start gaining ground, um, etc. So it'll get to a point where Imad Mani Rishiak had to uh, regroup his forces back in Damascus, um, that the Dajjal is pressing forces against him, that uh, the Dajjal is actually winning. Um, but he may win the battle, but not the war as the appearance of Jesus will come as he will descend in Damascus uh, from a white minaret um, in Damascus and will pray with Imam Mehdi the Mashiach in the morning prayer and then will go out to defeat the forces of the Dajjal and Jesus himself will kill the Antichrist, the Dajjal, the great deceiver and will show the world that he's not God, that uh, the Dajjal is not God, that the Dajjal is obviously not the uh, the Messiah or the Jesus Messiah, and we'll show that he's a fake, he's a phony, and a great deal of uh, disbelievers will become believers that they'll realize that this Dajjal was a fraud all along, was a deceiver, and people will uh, see the light, you could say, and uh, become and turn back to God uh, by those actions. So at that point, um, uh, this will upset uh, Gog and Magog, and uh, Gog and Magog will start um, um, going attacking, uh, attacking uh, from place to place. Will be a huge army, so bigger than a Dajjal's army, a massive army that will come uh, to this destroy anybody in their paths, and they will even threaten to attack God and they'll kill God, etc. Um, and then Jesus uh, will pray to God saying that, you know, we don't have, we'll have to retreat back into some mountains and pray with his uh, fellow believers to uh, thwart this Gog and Magog uh, from the earth. 
and then God will send uh, like a, a virus or a disease or, or a small worm, um, a micros microscopic uh, that they will not see. So it will be basically they will, the Gog and Magog, the army of Gog and Magog will be destroyed by a virus uh, of some kind, uh, some sort of uh, pestilence uh, that God will send uh, like a small worm in their neck that will uh, kill them very quickly. Um, and the... Uh, the earth will be <laughs> filled with their carcasses and etc. And God will send birds etc. to clean that up from according to the Hadiths. Um, and then after that, uh, kingdom on earth will happen uh, worldwide. Jesus will rule for decades, inshallah. And um, we'll take the reins from Imam Ibn Mashiach at that point. Uh, we'll be the uh, sole supreme religious leader of the universe uh, in that time and will implement the divine laws of God and uh, uh, extreme bliss will occur extreme happiness abundance uh, all for all mankind at that point um, so a lot of uh, cleansing would have to happen a lot of purifying uh, the rotten souls from this earth will have to occur occur before the true uh, paradise on this earth is true um, kingdom of heaven on this earth will occur will have to be some cleansing uh, some d deaths of these disbelievers will have to occur some purging etc um, have to be purified from this earth and then eventually over some time uh, the believers will go through a sort of like a, a rapture event so to speak not that there will be lifted from the planet but what will happen will God uh, after so many years of peace and abundance and tranquility and harmony on this earth, God will send a beautiful smell, uh, a scent uh, to all the believers on the earth, and the scent will uh, will kill them, uh, will kill them, but with ease, without any pain or anything like that. So they will transition from this earth very gracefully, uh, very unknowingly. Will not expect it. it will just happen. And this, this breeze will take all the, the believers off the earth and only be left will be the disbelievers to uh, to slowly enter into the Day of Judgment. So once all the believers are left from this earth, earth is going to be very cranky. Um, a lot of earthquakes, a lot of calamities will happen. And uh, eventually the earth will be destroyed uh, or transformed in some way that will enter into... Uh, the day of judgment so basically that's the uh, general timeline um, of the coming of MMA the Mashiach the deceiver the Dajjal and uh, the Messiah Jesus the Mashiach son of Mary peace and blessings be upon him so these are the timelines for that um, it's just done in a very basic and word-of-mouth style um, I'll try to put some of the uh, hadiths in the description below uh, for your leisure and I really hope you enjoyed this video to help us um, understand the times we're in and the coming of Imam Mahdi and the Mashiach to help us prepare for these times, inshallah. And uh, we be successful in this world and the next in the highest ranks of paradise, inshallah. May the peace and blessings be Allah be with you. Thank you. Take care.